hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel peace jones don't forget to like this video to comment on this video and to subscribe to my channel okay you guys so i hope my camera is not too lopsided i am doing a very quick weird angled pack with me video but i hope this doesn't look too weird on your end okay so i have booked another trip you guys follow me on instagram at itinerary t that is my business page that is where i create customized literally customized to you domestic within the united states or the u.s territories travel itineraries okay you guys i give tips i have my travel reels on there it's great, all right? So book with me if you plan on taking a trip within the U.S. or any of the U.S. territories, and I will make the best customized itinerary for you, okay? Now, I know I said in my last live, when I was live on there, that I think I was done traveling for the end of the year or for the rest of the year, and holla at me in 2023, but god said god did in my dj Khaled voice god did want me to travel some more this year right so he said here's your end of the year trip go out with a bang have fun okay so i'm going somewhere i'm not going to tell you guys where but you will see in my travel blog okay but i want you guys to pack with me and if you have watched any of my pack with me videos previously you may see some of the same hygiene items don't be alarmed that is because i literally have specific items that i use only to travel and i use them until they're finished and then i have specific hygiene items that i use on the regular every day at home all right anyway you guys let's get right into it okay so let's start with hygiene since i mentioned hygiene so this is my face soap. I have it in this cool little soap holder. This is my, I believe it's oatmeal and something else, all natural soap from Trader Joe's. This is all I use on my face, just this soap bar and vitamin E oil. That's it. I have this dry shampoo also from Trader Joe's, you guys. Uh, Trader Joe's needs to sponsor me. But I actually got into dry shampoo when I traveled, I think, to Mexico and I had braids. And it was a lifesaver, y'all. I know a lot of people think this isn't for African-American women's hair. But when you have in, like, track or braids, girl, it's a, it's a lifesaver because you don't have to actually wash your hair. You can just kind of, like, get the oil out, make it stop itching just really like freshen up your hair without having to wash it so it's perfect i plan on having this hair in and i know by that time i may need some dry shampoo okay then i have this hibiscus paradise bath and body works shower gel as you can see it's halfway gone partially because every time i travel half of it spills out but <laughs> the other part would be um you know, obviously, I've been using this for a few trips now. So I just want to finish it off. I also have this peppermint anti-cavity toothpaste with baking soda and fluoride. Once again, Trader Joe's all natural toothpaste. And then I always travel with a specific scent. I'm thinking because winter is upon us. I wanted to do more heavy, kind of like um, concentrated and musky type of scents so i am doing this scent called signorina misteriosa by salvatore ferragamo it's such a pretty bottle you guys i love ferragamo scents for women haven't really tried too many for men but their women's scents are so amazing and this one is like very deep very very like heavy and musky it's so sensual you guys it smells like date night in the city like literally i didn't like it at first but now i really really love it it's a great scent for like work or a date night or just a winter activity then i also have this floral marshmallow which mimics the killeen love don't be shy scent and this is dossier 
and it actually smells very similar to that one i think they have some of the same notes but thought i'd bring two just in case and that's it for hygiene you guys obviously i'm gonna have a toothbrush obviously i'm gonna bring an extra washcloth obviously i'm gonna have my shea butter and things like that but some of those things i will be using up until that date and so i left them where they're at and so i'm ready to pack them in my bag all right now let's get into the outfit so let's well no let's start with my airport outfit you guys pink hoodie pink sweatpants i literally love to be warm when i travel a lot of people i see get dressed up nowadays when they travel i don't know whether that's a part of like this new black girl luxury or luxury experience in general but looking cute in the airport it ain't for me at this point in my life i want to be super comfortable and most of all warm because you guys know the planes are already very cold and then it's winter i'm traveling to a colder place i gotta be warm so pink hoodie pink sweats probably my uggs and some cozy socks all right now let's do my so i'm gonna be there mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going to be there for three full days and then I'm going to fly out super early on the fourth day. So I need three full daytime outfits, right? So I typically, once I land and I check into my hotel, I typically like to change. I know a lot of people are like, uh, I'll just wear my airport outfit for the rest of the day. Not me. I like to get me a good shower, wash off that airport ickiness get cute and put on an outfit and go explore so i have one day outfit these are just some guest jeans skinny jeans i really love this wash i think it's such a pretty color it's giving like american girl color you know just like that pretty light wash denim very um casual cute love it and then I have these cute little silver, I don't even know what to call these, like little silver button earrings, knob earrings, doorknob. <laughs> I'm just making up stuff, but they're really cute. I got them as a set from Forever 21. So I'll wear that, those jeans, this cute little pink sweater. I got this on sale, but when I purchased it, I just thought it was such a unique piece. I love how the collar is like all frilly and then it has matching sleeves like that. I just think it's a really cute girly like feminine type of look. You know what I mean? So that is one outfit. Let me place that back nicely because I haven't put anything in my duffel bag yet then the next outfit i got this cute little two-piece it's really like an active wear set but i'm just kind of wearing it as i guess like a lounge type of outfit so have the top have the bottom it is ribbed if you can see the leggings the leggings look super small but I trust that they will stretch and be able to fit me properly. You guys, I ordered these fake Louis Vuitton earrings from uh, DH Gate. And girl, why are they so small? Like, you know, the normal ones are supposed to be like a lot bigger, but whatever. They're a lot smaller and thinner. But I was like, hey, I paid $25 for them. I'm going to wear them. Then I got this oversized brown hoodie from um, H&M. You guys, I love oversized hoodies. That's like my look nowadays. I kind of changed my look to like, um, kind of like the Yeezy Skims type of look. You can even see now I have one just like a tight long sleeve shirt with some brown um, joggers. So I really just like the look of like tight undergarments and then looser, baggier like pants or hoodies or whatever. So 
that is my second outfit and i paired it with my coach bag i don't get to wear this bag often but i think it's like such a cute classic bag and i just want to wear it more you know what i mean so i think that would be cute with that outfit then the next outfit, I have this really cute hoodie that I got from H&M. Well, it's not a hoodie. It's a crew neck. This really cute crew neck I got from H&M like two years ago. And I think I only got to wear it once. But I love this thing. Like, it's so cute. It's like almost a crop top. But they stopped it and kind of like cinched it in down there right before it became a crop top. And I'm so thankful for that because I don't like crop tops that much. And I noticed that the new age fashion, like everything is crop. So got some black denim jeans to go with it. Just a really good quality, thick pair of dark black denim jeans. And I emphasize dark because a lot of denim, black denim now is like ashy black. And I like that for certain looks. But I mean, can we have like some real black denim? Like... <laughs> You know what I mean? So that is the three casual looks. Now, I also have these black leather pants. If you guys have watched my previous pack with me's, you have seen them before. They have these cute little slits in the front at the bottom. Really good quality as well. These aren't like your typical Shein black leather pants. They're actually from h and M, I I think and I got these like years ago and they are just so good quality now anyway I have the black leather pants and then I also have this black turtleneck and I'm thinking I'm either gonna do like a another an additional option for just like a chill daytime look with the two and I can just dress it up with like some black hoop earrings or some silver hoop earrings and some black boots or I'm gonna turn it into a nighttime outfit and do the two with like some black heels and maybe try and put on some lashes <laughs> and just look really like you know wintry and cute in my all black or I will keep it as a casual look and I will do the black leather pants with this really cute top it's a little bit confusing but it basically cinches right there in the front and then it has these sleeves off to the side and it kind of like hangs off your shoulder it's super cute i've worn it once before i think when i was on vacation in riviera maya and i just loved it and i think it would make a really cute outfit along with the black leather pants so that is an option for a cute late night outfit look this was also in one of my pack with me's before never got to wear it um by the way you guys when i say things were in my pack with me before videos um i didn't wear them so it's not like i'm wearing the same thing every single trip i just didn't get a chance to wear what i packed before so i'm packing it again but yeah this is really cute i really want to wear this i got this a minute ago still haven't worn it but i'm kind of torn because this is definitely like a mini i mean i think it wants to be a midi but i'm kind of tall so i know it's gonna be a mini dress and I really wanted to wear it with like some pointy toe black heels but honestly where I'm going I think it's just gonna be too cold to have just my legs out so I think I'm gonna have to either do it with like long leather like long black leather boots or put on some black tights underneath and figure out the heels from there we'll see but definitely want to get a wear out of this I just obviously have to go somewhere dressy enough. Then I have these pajamas. The top. Literally got these from Walmart on sale. I think for like $10. One year around the holidays. And I just think they're so cute. Like they remind me of like some pimp pajamas. You know. And they're a really nice fabric. I don't know if you guys can see. But they keep you nice and warm. And one thing 
I noticed is that hotels can be really, really cold, even in the in even in the summertime, they can be really cold. So I just want to make sure that I'm warm when I'm sleeping. You know, I know I can turn up the heat. I know I can get under the comforter, but your girl likes to be warm and cozy when she's sleeping. So those are my pajamas. You guys, obviously, I haven't shown everything. Still got to pack undergarments. Still got to pack probably a flat iron for this hair. Still got to pack some socks, some additional um, hygiene items, as I said. And, you know, just other things here and there. But for the most part, that is what I'm wearing I have all my outfits laid out. I have my pajamas, my airport outfit, and obviously got to add shoes and stuff, but it won't be too much more, you guys. If you knew me before, you would be so proud of me because I have literally learned to condense or reduce the amount of things that I pack these days. And I'm really proud of myself because I used to literally go on like four day trips and I would pack enough outfits for like three weeks, like three outfits a day. And I really thought that was necessary. But now I've learned to really be like realistic and be like, OK, girl, what are you really going to wear in a day? Like, what do you need for this particular event, for this look, for this venue, whatever? Right. And I just stick to it. I usually only pack one cent and honestly I might just go ahead and reduce take this one out like I just really try to be more realistic because once you get to your destination and you have all this extra stuff it's just kind of like I mean it's better to be safe than sorry but sometimes you're just kind of like girl this was a lot of nonsense and especially when you're like trying to bring home souvenirs like when you travel to an island or something it just takes up so much more space that could have been used to pack away other things. So nonetheless, I try to just be a lot more aware of what I'm packing and not pack anything extra. And especially when I'm traveling within the United States, I like to think of it as, hey, if you really need something extra, just run to a mall and get it. You know what I mean? But nine times out of 10, you won't. You'll be fine. You'll make do. So that is my pack with me for this trip, you guys. I hope I get to wear everything so you guys don't have to keep seeing me repeat it in other videos. And that is that. You guys will see the travel vlog soon. You'll see all my reels soon. Please, 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 please go follow me on Instagram at itinerarytea. Tea. That way you can keep up with me in real life. I go live on there. I talk travel on there. And most importantly, most importantly, most importantly, you guys can book with me for your very own customized travel itinerary, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Peace!